angry words oh let them never from the tongue unbridled slip let the heart's best impulse ever touch them ere they soil the lips love one another thus save the savior children obey the father's blessed command love one another thus save the savior children obey the blessed command well good friday to you hope that you've had a good week this uh this week so far and, and that it's a good end of the week for you hope you've been blessed this week um, in some way it's good to be with you um, have you ever been taken really off guard by uh, somebody's behavior and maybe they behaved in a way that's far different than what you expected from that person or uh, when you know and when this happened did you how did you respond how did you feel did you did you walk in love and did you forgive that person for what they did did you hold on to it or hold a grudge we've all had this happen and we've all probably done it to other people and behaved in a way that they, they didn't expect from us as well but we've been in those situations where people maybe behaved a little bit differently than what we expected and maybe we're a little bit offensive but if we really think about it I think a lot of times people uh, who act offensively don't necessarily do it on purpose some people do but I think there's a lot of people that sometimes they don't do it on purpose they just inadvertently kind of act in a way that kind of gives the wrong impression to people often people who have done something offensive or, or hurtful to others aren't even really aware that they how they're being perceived by others or that they've been hurtful or come across that way um, and maybe you've been in that situation I think we all have at different times where where our actions were perceived a little bit differently than how we meant them to be perceived or how we meant for them to be taken you know have you ever been misunderstood have you uh, has anyone ever called your motives into question uh, in something that you did or a situation you were in or did you were you were you shocked maybe uh, to hear what others thought about you especially when you knew your intentions were right and and they were just simply misunderstood or perceived in the wrong way uh, if we all look at that we've all been in that situation it's happened um, you may have meant one thing but everyone seemed to perceive something else totally different from what you from what you intended and and so when you learned that others may have misunderstood you don't you don't you wish that uh, they would believe the best about you rather than than to, to rush to judgment and, and condemn you for something that you never even intended to project. Oh, boy, I've, I've been in those situations. I sure wish they would see what my, uh, the good in me or the, the intentions uh, behind what I did or said um, instead of what they perceived. Um, and, and so when we look at that particular situation, just like we want others to believe the best about us, we also need to reverse that and, and, and reverse the grace um, that that we want to receive and give that grace to others and believe the best about others even when they uh, come across offensive to us um, we, we will never go wrong by extending mercy to people in fact according to the law of sowing and reaping you reap what you sow if you give mercy to others you're you're almost guaranteed to reap mercy from others when you need it the most um, and so before we you know, our, our flesh part of us becomes stirred up and, and gets, you know, gets upset the next time that somebody offends us. We need to remember this principle. Remember this thought a little bit. Uh, the chances are really good that we've done the very same thing to other people that this person is, is doing to us. And so we need to speak to our emotions whenever we're tempted to get offended or, or you know, get all stirred up. Um, we need to remind ourselves of the many times that we've been loved, that we've been forgiven, and, and we've been freely accepted in spite of something that we've done. Um, in Romans chapter 15, verse 7, Paul gives us a good rule of thumb, uh, a helpful word to assist us in our endeavor to walk in harmony and peace with other people. Um, he said, Accept one another, then, as just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. I mean, isn't this how Jesus received you and I? Didn't he take you and I just as we were at the time at the, at the time that we came to him, at the, at the time that we gave our our life to him I mean, didn't he take us with all our attitude problems and our def our defects and our inconsistencies and our blemishes he, he did and he loved us anyway and uh, according to the word that's used there for accept 
um, when, when he says accept one another just as Christ accepted you um, essentially means that we're to uh, accept or to receive each other with wide open arms just as Jesus uh, accepted us and received us with wide open arms when we came to him and so in, in order for us to obey this command that Paul writes here uh, we'll have to do a lot of forgiving we'll have to do a lot of kind of overlooking in this life and, and giving people sort of the benefit of the doubt that maybe they weren't meaning to be offensive and it just came across that way and so I think we would I think we would do well if we would all work at um, not concentrating so much on the faults and the flaws of other people and, and really start concentrating on how to be more forgiving and how to how to show more mercy to people because after all, if we give mercy, we'll be shown mercy. And so we need to accept others just as Christ accepted us and, and take that route of mercy. And when we do that, we'll never be sorry. We'll never be sorry that we showed mercy to other people. Hope this blesses your day. Hope this gives you a challenge, but I hope it also encourages you as well. But let's, let's show mercy to people. Let's be forgiving. Let's give people the benefit of the doubt. Because I really think most people really have good intentions and really have good hearts even though they may come across in a way that's a little bit offensive sometimes i want to be forgiven and so i sure want to make sure that um, i focus better at forgiving other people it sure would be make a world a better place if we focused more on forgiving than we did on judging hope you have a great weekend this weekend look forward to seeing you on sunday at worship and uh, i hope that you have a blessed day